everybody, it's Sam at Mixed.Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This week's scrapbook layout is a really special photo. Now this picture was taken last year in the summer and this was me walking on the really old part, well there's lots of it, but of the Great Wall of China. It's something that I know not everybody will get to do in their lifetime and it's still, you know, I have to pinch myself to know that I've done that. And it was just a truly awesome moment in my life, just stood on the top with <laughs> very, very few people. We didn't see any other tourists apart from ourselves. And it was just amazing. I can't say anything apart from that. It was just incredible. So I wanted to just do a really kind of pretty floral layout to go with this picture. Now, I don't know where these papers are from. If anybody recognises them, if you could pop the name of the paper pack or the collection in the comments below, that would be great. And then I can just link that into my blog post. But I, don't, I didn't want to use too much with the layout. So I'm actually going to, I had two sheets of this. So I'm fussy cutting all of the, well, not all of them, but just a lot of those mirrored flowers. So the pink and the mirrored flowers also along with the green leaves. Now, I'd already matted and layered the photo because I didn't realise that I hadn't put rec pushed record. So that's why that's already done. So you can see I've got the 12 by 12 layout there and I've started fussy cutting a few bits and pieces. And then I've just got this white strip to run through the centre or just above for me to actually um, use those stickers that will spell out the Great Wall. It just looked too, you, could, you can't just put those um, word, you know, the word there, Great Wall, directly onto the paper because the flowers and stuff, it would have just got completely lost. So by adding this white strip and then I've done that pink strip of washi, which matched really well, it will allow that Great Wall word to really pop on the layout. So I'm just sticking the photo down here with some foam adhesive pads and then slowly I kind of start almost it's like a decoupage really I'm just kind of mirroring them over the top of the you know the image below so I do kind of offset a few of them but the majority of them I do actually lay directly down you know on the images that are already below so you'll see now I'm just starting to pop down the the word there great wall and I'm just pop some glue on the back of my hand just to make sure they're really stuck down this was just some of the Aline's tacky glue because it dries completely clear and dry so any bits that may have kind of oozed out the sides you're not going to see any of that and you can see that it just does lift up more now towards the top left can you see there's a lot of the die cut flowers and you can see that there's a, like a leaf kind of coming over that white strip and over the pink washi just to the left of my hand to the top left of the photo you can see there I've done like a little cluster on the photo and towards the bottom right of the photo it was really hard you know I kind of edited it all out and it, it all looked the same so it was quite hard to, for you to actually see me doing it because the colours and the flowers obviously you know it just all mixes in now that box that you just saw I picked up recently from a charity shop or a thrift store as they're known it was a pound for seriously thousands and thousands of lovely little phrases. So I'm sticking down here, breathtaking views, once in a lifetime, moments you'll never forget. And then the one that goes on the photo is a picture paints a thousand words. And I was going through them in the charity shop and I just thought these are really, really good phrases. You don't really get these. I mean, you can get them in real specific like travel sticker books or, you know, certain quote sticker books and stuff like that. But this was just such a variety. It was fantastic. So I was so pleased to get my hands on that. And you'll be seeing me use that a lot throughout the layouts. So again, here you can see how I mean with that decoupage. So I've stuck that piece there like directly over the flower below. And again, the same with the leaves. So in the photos at the end, you'll really see the dimension. And the it just, it, it created a really nice look. So looking down now, it really doesn't look like I've done that much. But until you actually see it close up, it does look really good. So I had the Great Wall as my title, but I needed to put the... And then it says Great Wall and then of China. So I'm just using my alphabet labeler stamps from Stamping Up. And I've just stamped out there the and then of China. And I'm just going to cut those really kind of into thin little strips just using my scissors there. I could, you know, mat them as well. But I just thought they, they do show quite well because I, where you're, well, you'll see where I stick them in the moment anyway. But yeah, I couldn't find, I think there is amongst that box the words the and 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 it and as and all those kind of things but they were going to take me a long time to find and I think I will sit down one afternoon and maybe try and put them into like categories or something like that but um, yeah you can see the one on the photo there and then I'm just putting in the and then I finish it off with 
yeah just putting some foam adhesive on the back there and then that's the one that says of china it was just one of those photos you have to scrapbook you know i want to look back on that and just and remember that moment we stayed with a wonderful family cooked us homemade food oh my god i still dream of that food it was just incredible then we finish off the layout as always with some nouveau drops so this is the blizzard white i think it is I think I'm looking at it there. I was doing something, not quite sure. But I think it was the Blizzard White, but you can just see me going around there. And again, you'll see these in the photos in a moment, just to kind of give it a little bit more dimensions and some texture. So yeah, let me know what the paper pack is or the uh, that particular sheet. It might have its own name, I'm not sure. But you can see now I've curled all the little leaves with my finger and my thumb just to give it dimension. And you can just see how much texture is now on that layout. Like I said, it is quite hard to really have shown you in the... Uh, the little video there but hopefully now you can see it much better i love that real just beautiful pink color um and i just yeah it's just a lovely photo of me on the old ruins of the great wall of china so i hope you've enjoyed this week's scrapbook layout i really did love doing this one although i don't think there's ever a layout i don't really enjoy but i did like this one and i do love to fussy cut so as always i hope i've inspired you and i'll be back again next week with another one thanks for watching bye